guys. Uh, we had a unit. Uh, I guess we can call this one a breakdown. Uh, bus left. I had to go pick it up at a school. And uh, well, there you go, guys. Leaking water. Uh, it's a simple fix. It's a uh, heater hose. It's a one-inch hose go going from the booster pump all the way across and into the firewall right here. So let me go ahead and uh, I was going to add air pressure into the cooling system but I mean there's no need and we found it just by kind of looking I could do a splice cut this little uh, coil thing and just add a splice on that hose but that's just a man not might as well just get it repaired I'm gonna go ahead and replace the hose coming from the booster pump into the firewall guys let me go ahead and get this one done well guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that air cleaner just to open up that space so you guys can see what I'm getting to and uh, well, I'm going to have to do some work on the inside also because that hose goes from Well guys, as you can see, uh, I'm starting to remove that hose from the right side of the unit, from the entrance door, entrance door side, and I'm going to go ahead and run it to the back, to the driver's side, and as I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the new hose along with me, that way I can go ahead and start putting it back on that on those wire, on the hose looms that hold it safely in place. And uh, I'll show you in a bit what caused this, uh, this hose to actually fail. So let me continue doing this real quick. Well guys, uh, we got the entrance side, we got the air filter back on its place, in its place. The hose did go to the boost pump, so it was pretty simple. I didn't have to go in the firewall on this side. I'm just going to wrap it around, follow this hose, and then push it in. And I'm going to go connect the hose on the inside of the cockpit, driver's cockpit. So let me go ahead and get, get this one on a time lapse. And then once we go inside, I'll go ahead and record true time so you, can see, you guys can see how it connects on the inside of the that behind that firewall right there all right guys let me go ahead and get some more of this done Well guys, uh, we got the hose all the way to firewall. As you saw, I cut the hose. I didn't want to be, you know, trying to pull all that hose into the unit. I cut it off at the end. I'm going to go on the inside. I'm going to remove the piece that's on the inside. Come back out, cut this blue hose to length. And then I'm going to go ahead and push it in through the firewall and connect it on the inside. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, fill the coolant, fill the unit up back with coolant. And that should be it guys. Uh, what I was doing here is these little clamps, these little, um, I don't know, looms or whatever you want to call them. They're there for a reason. They're supposed to keep the hose from rubbing on this one. This little deal here was actually bent upwards. And those two little teeth were that's what cut into the hose and punctured it so i'm going to go ahead and just bend it downward so it won't happen again and i already put these looms on there kept the hose up higher than uh, 
basically it's hovering above that valve cover it's not touching the valve cover and just connect it over on that boost pump so let me go ahead and go to the inside real quick and uh, get this hose removed uh, get the piece off of it from the inside and go ahead and connect this blue hose so you can go ahead and finish it up fill it up with the uh, coolant and get this back on the road all right guys let me go to the inside well, guys, let's go ahead and go on the inside of the unit and uh, the area we're going to be working in or on to finish off that hose is right behind this panel here that panel there I'm going to remove the hose comes in and connects to a little valve that's somewhere behind that flap right there so let me just go ahead and uncover this real quick so you guys can see well guys uh, let me go ahead and uh, get situated it's in a odd little area tight the space is a little tight but let me go ahead and get in there and uh, hopefully you guys can get a clear view of what I'm doing. I'm going to try and give you a, you know, space so you guys can see, but like I said, I mean, it's, it's in a very tight little spot. Alrighty. Almost there, guys. Alright. Let me put these here so I don't lose them. And this comes off. Well, I hope you guys can see this. I got that exposed. And the hose in question, or the one we cut, is this one right here, guys. So. 8 millimeter socket hose clamp loose pull that sucker off instead of trying to use that pick and loosen this hose I use a razor blade I slice the hose going lengthwise that'll just make it easier to kind of peel off yeah, these things are it's been on there for quite a while guys so it doesn't want to come off it's not going to be easy so I just kind of slice that hose careful with the antifreeze because it tastes nasty it ain't good for you and it's all it's just bad dude so there we go like I said I mean it's been on there for a while guys so it's gonna be very stubborn and that's that. Hose is off. We need roughly like a foot. Let me go outside real quick. Cut that hose and then I'll just feed, feed it through the firewall. Let me go take care of that real quick. I'll be right back. Well guys. <clears throat> I went ahead and uh, fit that uh, hose through the firewall. Let me go ahead and uh, get that clamp in place, tighten it back up, clean up the floor, well, put that plate back in place, and uh, clean with the floor so I can go ahead and go back out, put it up with coolant, and uh, call this one done, guys. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it's just, well, it's a very tight little spot. It's easy. 
but messy. So let me go ahead and get that sucker back in. in place switch out the socket to a Phillips deal in place and shoot Almost done, guys. All right. Little screws. There you go, guys. Whew. We just re uh, removed and replaced. A one inch diameter heater hose, roughly, I'm gonna say seven, maybe seven feet in length. And that little culprit was causing this unit to lose quite a bit of coolant and it caused it to go into a a breakdown so let me go ahead and go outside fill this up with coolant turn it on make sure there's no there's no leaks so you can go ahead and set it up for route again all right guys well guys uh went ahead and filled it up with coolant uh there's no leaks i didn't start it uh i used a pressure test uh pressure test and uh, basically uh, things holding so i'm going to call this one done guys uh, this is going to be a uh, remove and replace, I guess, uh, heater, bypass hose, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's not that hard. It's just messy, guys. So, well, appreciate you guys watching and uh, like and subscribe.